Bore ddigion a bore ddigese nos wrth a a chroeso man bless him awr i fod yma gyda chi heno un unwaith eto. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all. Wonderful to see so many of you here tonight. And I'm very pleased to be presenting again at the second gala held by the cardiac charity SADS UK. There are some familiar faces for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and some unfamiliar faces, some new ones, which makes the mix all the more exciting. We hope you're in the very good mood, very good spirits for some very special music and exciting performances from our wonderful choirs, ladies and gentlemen. The regimental band of the Royal Welsh and Corps of Drums will be wowing us with their varied repertoire and spectacular performance. We're also extremely delighted tonight that the exceptional soprano Ellen Manahan Thomas, who's performed on stages all over the world, will also be here with us this evening. And Ellen will also be joined by soprano Angharad Morgan. The choirs joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are Barry Male Voice Choir, Caffili Male Choir, City of Newport Male Choir, Glynneath Male Choir, Haverford West Male Voice Choir, Llanderbeer Male Choir. We've also got the boys in from Maesteg, Ogmore, Oxford. Was that Ogmore or Oxford? What a small fan base you have. <laughs> also not forgetting Panath Male Voice Choir and Unis Owen Male Choir. Would you all please give them a huge welcome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they look absolutely wonderful and we will be hearing from them very, very shortly. We're also pleased, ladies and gentlemen, to have Frank Jones, musical director of City of Newport Male Choir, to conduct this evening. And we thank him very, very much indeed for organising the music programme and his support to make this evening, as ever, very, very special indeed. We're also thankful to Major Dennis Burton of the Regimental Band of the Royal Welsh for organising the band's music that we'll also hear tonight. Also to our stage manager tonight, Phil Lloyd, who's travelled some distance from Pembroke Dock to Cardiff to help us out this evening. Well, that's just about it for me for now. I'd now like to introduce Eve Lloyd Dorton, who is a lady who has contributed significantly to bring in tonight about. She has worked tirelessly to make sure tonight goes off well. Eve knows personally several families who've been affected by SADS, and she's promised to continue to help for as long as required. Would you please welcome Eve Lloyd Dorton? Nos by tha, Christo de Sant. Sudden adult death. It conjures up an awful lot of emotions, um, especially for those affected by it. And obviously, it's a sad occasion. Uh, even though tonight is a happy one, where we're going to be raising money for this charity. But the words in what I'm about to read, I think probably sums up best what sudden adult death is, what it means to families, and a little bit also about the charity itself and what we're about. Sudden adult death and charity encompassed in one heart, gone, in as little time as a butterfly opens its wings in flight. No goodbye, not even it seems time to know oneself or reason why. Silence follows where once there was laughter, chatter, and often chaos. Thoughts run riot. What if and why did that one we love so suddenly die? Stories are told of simple days spent when as a family we were so content. I wish I had answers to ease the pain. I do know that the love that you shared will always remain. I should like to dedicate, lastly, one of this evening's pieces at the very end of our programme. The choirs behind me have worked extremely hard, bearing in mind the distance between them and the few rehearsals. They have rehearsed Bohemian Rhapsody, the Queen number. Especially, I dedicate this to Rhys Davis of Caffili, 
who loved this music as much as he loved sport. And on behalf of the choirs and the band, and to all those of you who have been affected by SADS, Dirk and Vaur, thank you all very much.